What's going on, peeps? It's Josh. Um, this is going to be short and sweet because I've tried to record it like four times now and YouTube keeps glitching out, but I want to make a video. Maggie asked me to, and I wanted to explain something real quick first. Um, the other day I referenced a spray bottle, spraying, uh, spraying a spray bottle on my hands. I was talking about this. I get it from the travel section at Walmart for 88 cents, the bottle, not the contents. Then I put water in it, and then I squirt a little of this... Uh, Dawn Platinum. This, in my opinion, is a must for any trucker because we have grease on our trucks and it is really incredibly hard to get that grease off once it gets on us. And so, in my opinion, nothing works like that. And I've tried a couple of different things and I've chucked them because they haven't been the business. But, um, that is. <coughs> highly recommend. Um got such a bad migraine and I've taken medicine and I've put oils on and I'm diffusing and nothing's helping and I wish that I could either throw up or take a nap or die but I can't so I'm gonna keep driving I have six hours and four minutes on my clock oh damn it my brain is forgive me my brain is not with the brainliness so the reason I have that spray bottle is not just to wash my hands. I also spray um, my windshield when it gets too buggy. I'll pull over, spray the crap out of my windshield, turn on my wipers, and then rinse it off with washer solvent. And that removes a lot of the bugs. Because I don't know about you, but like when I'm sitting here staring at a windshield full of bugs, it drives me batshit. So after a while, i got to stop, rinse it off, get rid of them. Because um, otherwise I just get frustrated. Or, the last reason that I use it, beyond just general cleaning sometimes, but um, uh, the la the one, one other thing that I do is um, I uh, sometimes my tandems get stuck. You'll pull the release thing and the tandems will not, the pins won't go in or the tandems won't slide easily. What I do for this, also your landing gear will sometimes get stuck and this can help. Spray the crap out of it with really soapy water. I'm not just talking like a little soap, I'm talking like really, I put quite a bit of soap in that water. And I've had this little bottle of Dawn that I got from the dollar store since I got on my truck. And it's lasted me and you, you see there's like a third, somewhere between a third and a half left. Excuse me. I might actually throw up because I'm so nauseous and sick. I'm not trying to be a baby about it, but I have really, I hate migraines. But I gotta keep rolling because I don't want my dispatcher to think I'm a little punk. And I don't want them to think that just because there's a ton of time on this load that I don't care and I'm not going to keep rolling because uh, this should put me, between the last load and this load, that should put me at like 2,300 miles or something, Twenty, maybe 25, I forget. But... Um, I could get up over 3,000 again if I can get to where I'm going and get another load and potentially get some miles done. Um, either way, I want to keep rolling. I would love to take like a little nap right now, but I got to keep rolling. Tonight I can sleep, and I don't have to make a good dinner if I don't want to. I can make just a quick dinner. Um, it, it, either way, it'll be fine. But... Um, <coughs> So yeah, if you spray your tandems in your landing gear, that will loosen them up and make them work properly. Whereas if you use lubricant, that gums it up for the next guy and oftentimes doesn't really work as well as soapy water can. That's, a, that's an instruction from Prime that I tried personally and it actually works better than any WD-40. <clears throat> also, uh, once a day I clean my steering wheel. My steering wheel gets disgusting and I can't stand the way that it feels when my steering wheel is dirty. I I really hate that. Um, so I clean it every day with that mixture and it removes all the grease. It makes it feel nice and clean and it actually, in my opinion, just makes my life nicer. Because I'm not frustrated because my steering wheel is dirty. I hate that. Um, the company car at the Missoula Terminal... Every time I've gotten in it for the past couple times, the steering wheels felt sticky and disgusting. And every time I mean to take something and wipe it down, but I always keep forgetting. But it's gross, and it makes me really irritated. Maybe that's just a little OCD part of my personality, but I hate it. Um, so tonight when I get stopped, I'm going to drive for about five more hours, and then I'm going to park it. 
We have 391 miles to go. If we assume 200, or if we assume 50 miles per hour, um, we're going to get on average. Then we're looking at 250 miles, which leaves us with about 140 miles to do tomorrow to clean up real quick, and that won't take long. Maybe three hours. Probably closer to two and a half. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> we'll get where we're going. Hopefully drop the load in a yard because there's a yard nearby. And then hopefully get another load out or do a 34 reset. Either way, I would rather be rolling though and um, <clears throat> potentially get some more miles under our belt for this week. On the 8th, I have to go to get weighed. So that's why I'm doing the shakes. I've done two of them today. It's been okay. Um, I miss food. I miss chewing. So I'm excited for dinner. But if this is what I gotta do to keep from getting a CPAP, whatever. It's, you know, 12 days. You can do anything for 12 days. And, um, <clears throat> after I get my inspection, if I, if I lose the weight that I need to lose, I'm getting myself pizza. I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> I got to talk to Maggie for a little bit this morning. That was amazing. I talked to my sister for a little bit after that. That was amazing. Um, it was good. It was good. I miss I miss my people. Particularly, I miss Maggie and the boys. I would give anything right now to like be able to curl up with them and take a nap and just cuddle. Marvy would be laying on my head. Maggie would be like here. Pete would probably be laying across my legs. It's perfection. I, I can't wait. I'm so excited to have them on the truck. We've got plans. Um, when we do get the truck organized, you can expect a truck tour. Because right now, it's just like me just focusing on miles, basically. Yeah, I have some tips. And I have, a, I have some stuff arranged. Like, it looks okay up there. But I mean, like, it's not, you know, it's not like it will be when Maggie's on the truck. Because she's... A girl and she will organize the things right now I'm listening to 1984 which is hard to follow at times I find myself like backing up and listening again to parts of it just trying to absorb what the heck is going on so it's interesting it's certainly not Harry Potter or uh, John Green but you know it's not bad um, <clears throat> yeah so wherever you guys are, I hope that you're near your loved ones. If you are, give them a hug from me and uh, tell them why you love them. Say something nice to them. Um, I wish, because I certainly wish I could do that for my girl and my boys. But um, I appreciate you spending a part of your day with me. We're going to get rolling. And uh, this keeps cutting me off, so I don't want to take the chance again. So this is just a quick one, just a quick little update, like what's up, how y'all doing. I'll let you know what I decide for dinner. Hopefully I'll make another video then. Just a quick one, just to update you guys and let you know what's going on. And in the meantime, much love, peep out.